A significant aspect of the Gemini manned spaceflight program is the capability of the astronauts to control the spacecraft's orbit as well as its attitude in flight. This capability is provided by the propulsion and control system. Beginning with spacecraft separation, the propulsion and control system is used to adjust the proper spacecraft velocity needed for orbit. Orbital changes necessary for rendezvous with a target vehicle are also accomplished by the system, together with translational attitude and velocity changes required for docking with the target vehicle. Yet a further function of the propulsion and control system is control of the spacecraft's attitude during the critical retrograde and re-entry phases of the mission. Four interrelating systems make up the Gemini propulsion and control system. The orbit attitude and maneuver system, or OHMS, the re-entry control system, or RCS, attitude and control maneuver electronics, or ACME, and the Horizon Sensor System. The Orbit Attitude and Maneuver System has a total of 16 thrust chamber assemblies, 10 mounted on the adapter equipment section, and 6 on the adapter retrograde section. These thrusters are fixed to produce attitude and maneuver control. Eight 23-pound attitude thrusters fixed in pairs produce movement about the spacecraft's center of gravity in pitch, roll, and yaw. Maneuver control along the spacecraft's three axes is also accomplished by pairs of thrusters. Acceleration along the x-axis is controlled by two pairs of thrusters producing 95 and 79 pounds, respectively, while pairs of 95-pound thrusters control acceleration for both the Y and Z axes. Construction of all thrusters is basically similar. Each has an oxidizer and fuel inlet and associated propellant valves. Operation of the Ohm's thrusters is demonstrated by this typical hot firing test of the system. The propellants used by the Ohm's are storable and have the hypergolic property of spontaneously igniting on contact with each other. Monomethyl hydrazine is the fuel and nitrogen tetroxide is the oxidizer. The Ohm's propellant tanks, located in the adapter, are pressurized by helium gas stored at 3,000 psi in bottles, also located in the adapter. The pressure is controlled by a pressure regulator. The re-entry control system, in addition to providing retrograde and re-entry attitude control, also provides control in the event of a Mode 2 abort. Two identical self-contained systems make up the re-entry control system, one system serving as a backup. Each system consists of eight 23-pound thrusters arranged in two concentric rings, fuel and oxidizer tanks, and tanks containing pressurant gas. The RCS uses the same propellants as the ohms, but differs in its use of nitrogen as the pressurant. In principle, it resembles the orbit attitude and maneuver system. Storable hypergolic propellants are delivered under pressure to ignite in appropriate thrust chamber assemblies to provide attitude control in pitch, roll, and yaw. Thruster firing commands of both the re-entry control and orbit attitude maneuver systems are generated manually from the astronaut's hand controller or automatically by spacecraft guidance system. A significant part of the propulsion and control system has a prime function of receiving control signals and converting them into firing commands. This is the ACME system, standing for Attitude Control and Maneuver Electronics. 
The system has four major subsystems contained in modularized packages. The Attitude Control Electronics Package, or ACE, the Orbit Attitude Maneuver Electronics Package, two Rate Gyro Packages, and a Power Inverter. The Control Torque Logic and Proportional Circuitry of the ACE Package accepts crew-selected mode signals. Also, crew-initiated attitude and maneuver commands. Other inputs include attitude information from the guidance system's inertial platform and computer and the horizon sensor system. Each primary and secondary rate gyro package contains three hermetically sealed rate gyros. Each package can provide the ACE subsystem with AC analog inputs proportional to the spacecraft's pitch, roll, and yaw rates. The Attitude Control Electronics Package converts its received signals into on-off logic commands and directs these to the Orbit Attitude and Maneuver Electronics Package. This subsystem directs firing commands to the thrusters of the ohms during the orbiting mission phase. Firing commands for attitude control during retrograde and reentry are sent directly from the ACE package to the thrusters of the reentry control system. In normal operation, the ACME system receives its AC power from the IGS power supply. An alternate power source, the ACME power inverter, converts spacecraft DC power for use by the ACME system. During the Gemini mission, the ACME system can be operated in different modes as required by individual mission phases. Six modes, four manual and two automatic, can be selected by the astronaut's attitude control selector switch. Manual control of the spacecraft's attitude is achieved through the astronaut's hand controller in direct command, single pulse, rate command, and re-entry rate command modes. The automatic re-entry mode uses computer inputs to control the spacecraft during re-entry. The other automatic mode is the horizon scanner mode. In principle, the Gemini horizon sensor system uses an infrared bolometer to detect the temperature gradient at the Earth skyline. A single horizon tracker sweeping back and forth in azimuth measures horizon angles through different azimuth positions, thus deriving pitch and roll information. This information is translated into corrective attitude firing commands to the propulsion system. The horizon sensor system comprises a primary and secondary horizon sensor head mounted on the reentry control section and two electronic packages in the cabin section. These are the major components of the Gemini propulsion and control system. The orbit attitude and maneuver propulsion system, the reentry control propulsion system, the attitude control and maneuver electronic system, and the horizon sensor system. These systems and their components function to provide various modes of attitude control to permit stabilization in flight and enable safe re-entry. They also provide a translation capability for maneuvering in orbit to rendezvous and dock with another space vehicle and thus attain a major Gemini mission objective.